Good morning, everyone. How are we? Hello, Fergie. I hope everyone is doing well today. Welcome back to me. It's been so long. I'm so sorry. I feel like I've abandoned you all. The best friends of the feather, I've abandoned you. Please, seek therapy if you need it. Um, you know, we all need a little helping hand every once in a while. But anyway, so I wanted to give everyone a, a really quick update. Uh, I say that quick. Watch, we'll be at like minute 20 and I'll be finishing up my quick video. But anyway, so my mind has been ablaze with uh, possibilities in our new homestead. And that's where I've been. That's what I've been doing, if anyone's curious as to where I've been. The crazy chicken lady, she's been hanging out. Um, in her new homestead, and um, I'm telling you, I'm really, really excited about what's to come. How are you, friends, today? The Farrells have been laying eggs. I think we've um, we've had like four eggs from them, um, so they're doing fantastical. What's going on, Marie? They're getting a little more friendly. I'm 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 getting to the point where I can touch them. And they are very vocal. They've become very vocal. I've, uh... Sometimes they'll let me touch them. There we go. Look at that. And, uh... I've figured out that the, the crazy little stance that that... See how... See that stance that, that JG does? They want to mate. I'm pretty sure that's what that means. <laughs> because... JG did that the other day. Did the little the little crouch, and I put my hand on her back and like kind of ruffled her tail feathers, and she she really liked that. I'm gonna say so. I was embarrassed for her. Let's see if she'll do it. It's kind of funny. Come here, JG. Yeah, there she goes. See how she get how she like crouches. Oh, sorry. See how she crouches down and like puts her wings up a little bit and then sticks her butt out. Yeah, I think I think that's uh. She's letting me know that uh, she's ready for a suitor. Well, Marie, I don't think there's any need to be that loud. We hear you. You're right here. So, yeah. They've been laying some eggs. They're teeny, teeny, tiny. I threw some oyster shells in with them yesterday. I'm hoping we can get some uh, better results. Oh, you guys knocked your water over. Goobers, why did you do that? <sighs> yeah. So I'm really excited about their new homestead. Um, I was uh, doing some work out there yesterday and discovered a yellow jacket's nest, which I was not a fan of. I was, um, there's a creek, a little run that goes through the property and I was dumping some pieces of concrete block um, over the edge of the creek bank. And um, I dumped a big load of it over the creek bank, and this swarm of yellow jackets just came up and started running around. See my blackberries? They're doing so well, of course, and I'm going to abandon them, just like I've abandoned all of my followers on YouTube. Yeah, thinking about digging them up and taking them with me, honestly. Let's see how the quails are doing. We still have four, one of every color. There's many colors in the quail rainbow. Yeah, it's gross in there. I need to get I need to clean it out, but I'm telling you what. I'm afraid to open this cage. Oh, see they've been fighting. Did you see that? Yeah, see watch. They've been chasing each other around. Mr. Mr. Blue Sky over there. Where'd he go? The blue one is like attacking everybody. That guy. Yeah. He was doing that yesterday. There's angst in the quail cage. I don't know what's going on. And that's a new noise. Did you hear it? The little squeaks. They've, they've never done that before. Yeah. Very odd. Hear it? It's like this little uh, uh, noise. It's weird. Oh, goodness. Mr. Blue Sky. There is no need for all that. Gracious. It's like quail battles.
gracious. Mr. Blue Sky is trying to kill everyone. We had mean Mr. Mustard, and now we've got Mr. Blue Sky that's on the attack, apparently. Goodness. Okay, well, that's depressing. Yesterday, we got zero eggs. Girls, we need to have a meeting. Girls, zero eggs yesterday. I blame you, Jack. Jack. Jackie Diane. You've got to lay eggs. Yeah, you too, mofo. I'm tired of it. Tired of these zero egg days. We need to need to have some some uh, some meetings or some pep talks. Do some cheers. Something. Silly willies. What's going up, Fifi? What's going on, Fifi of the the crazy comb? So yeah, zero eggs yesterday. We got two the day before and one the day before that. I'm telling you what, I don't know. I, my dad seems to think that it's the heat, um, which I, I, I've heard that, you know, if it's too hot, the chickens won't lay eggs. But uh, I have not actually experienced that, but I think that might be what we're experiencing. Oh! <gasps> Good morning, girls. Someone laid an egg. Who laid it? Who was it? Who was it? All right, there we are. One for today. Oh, and it's a nice one. Good job, girls. So, just a couple things that have happened since we've been away. I came out here the other day to find the birds. This, this is what happened. This is almost an exact replica of what happened. Okay, so... I come in to check for eggs, right? And I, I collected a couple. This was like probably a week ago. And this one comes out, right? Well, she has something hanging from her beak. Like she has, she's hanging on to, for dear life to this thing in her beak. And it looks like a leaf, right? And I was like, what have you got? So I picked her up because she's really friendly. I picked her up and pulled this thing out of her mouth. And it was a, a bird part. Like part of like a sparrow it was like three three feathers connected to a, a a raw piece of bird meat it was really really gross but i know because i've observed this that the birds like the regular birds flutter around out here because of the bird seed that they enjoy well, I think that one of the birds may have inadvertently gotten into the cage, much like the rabbit got into the dog yard. So, um, I think that's what, what happened there. And so I started looking outside in the yard, and I saw that there were other chickens running around with pieces of bird in their beak, and they were chasing each other trying to get to it. So I have um, carnivorous chickens. So... I know that they are they're omnivores they eat everything so that's no surprise there but yeah so well come on Jack it's time to go back friend it's time to go back Jack Jackie Diane friend <laughs> she's da -da! super chicken all right come on girl Let's go. Back in you go. Well, goodness. I don't think there's any need for all that. Go, girl. Go. Fly away. There you go. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's graceful. So I have carnivorous chickens. Also, so I, I'm going to explain a little bit about what's been going on. I know I just said that earlier, but this is this is really the true explanation. So I've been cleaning up the garage space, right? And it's it was really bad. Like it was really, really, really bad. Okay. And what what's happened, right? My dad owns this garage. His father and him built it, like in the 50s and 60s. And so they had a they had a business in there together. And my grandfather passed. And when my grandfather passed, I think my dad lost a little bit of his oomph for what he was doing. Um, and so 
a, he kind of transformed things slowly and kind of made things the way he wanted it, got kind of out of the automotive thing. They had been getting out of the automotive thing for a while. As soon as fuel injectors came into play, my grandfather wanted nothing to do with it. So um, if it wasn't a carburetor, he wasn't interested. But um, yeah, so then um, things just kind of started to slow down. And then my father's second wife passed away probably like five, six, seven years ago maybe. And when that happened, that I think that really put like a damper on things. And things just kind of fell into not really disarray, but just not really organized well. And so um, I, uh, I've i been out there kind of trying to organize stuff for him and, and get it kind of put back together, cleaning up. And um, there's like 50 years of, of dirt in some of those places out there because it's a garage, you know? I mean, who cleans a garage, like thoroughly cleans a garage? Well, besides weirdos like me. But um yeah, so I've been I've been scrubbing a lot, and I didn't really want to show a lot of it because, you know, it's, it's a lot of the stuff wasn't mine. Um, a lot of the people have gotten their things out of there now. Um, there's only one person left to get their things out, which is no big deal. Um, well, one and a half, we'll say. But um, yeah, so that there's a lot of reasons that I didn't want to shoot anything out there, but I think I'm going to. And I'm now cursing because I love, like, the before and after things that you see when people are doing renovations and stuff. Like, they'll go in and they'll show you the before of, you know, what it all looked like and then the after of the cleanup. I did go in and take some still photos of some of the what it looked like out there. So I'm thinking about doing, like, some before and afters of that kind of thing. But I'm going to start shooting videos out there. I'm going to start showing everybody what our plans are. Um, I think everyone's probably going to think I'm insane. But that's okay because, you know, survey says probably true. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And um, it's one of those things where, like, I'm very anxious, but I'm not worried. Like, I, I feel like everything is just going to work out. Like, everything is coming together. And uh, so I'm, I'm really excited about that. Um, I actually uncovered the ruins, <laughs> ruins, of my grandfather's old chicken coop, which I thought was so cool. And I got video of that, so I think I'll snap that onto the end of this um, when we're done. But um, I'm, I think I'm going to start shooting videos out there. Um, I've got it to a point where I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with, uh, with what's there. And, uh, so yeah, I, th I think that's what's going to happen. And the reason that I haven't been shooting videos is because I've been kind of like dual living kind of. So it's been very hectic because I get up in the morning and I go straight out there to my dad's. Um, cause as I mentioned in my video right before this, he's been having some health issues. Um, so we're trying to figure out what, what that is. Vax injury. But, um, yeah, so we're trying to, um, get that all settled and, uh, get him back to a, a healthy place. And, uh, then there's the cleanup. There's the trash disposal. My God, you guys, the trash disposal. It's been like a like a slow leak of trash out of there like because a lot of the stuff like it just it was destroyed like there just wasn't any having it coming back because there's been a lot of cats in there and of all the animals that the the cat is the worst like when they're not like litter boxed and things so yeah there's a lot of cat damage um so the trash has been just a nightmare and because it a roll away dumpster like one of those little roll aways you're like oh that would be convenient yeah a thousand dollars i'm sure i'll whip that right out of my back pocket but um yeah so uh we were slowly trickling the trash out um between our trash nights and my dad's trash nights um we've been able to kind of slowly dwindle it down so you know, it's just like the little things you don't think of like that, you know. It's like, yeah, we can bag up the trash, but then what do you do with it, you know. So, um, yeah, lots of happenings happening. So, I'm going to try to keep you guys up to date and posted. Thank you to everyone for watching. I so greatly appreciate it. And thank you for being patient, especially. I think we lost a subscriber or two, but that's okay. I understand. I kind of expected that. That's okay. I understand. This ain't no Never Never Land. Uh, Jag Isles Band, Centerfold, that's right. <laughs> okay, anyway, so, um, yeah. Actually, you know what's funny about that? I found that album. 
when I was going through the stuff out there, I found a bunch of my stuff that I had from when I was a kid, and I found the Jay Giles Band album, Freeze Frame. I got in trouble when I was like probably eight years old, seven or eight years old, because the last song on side two of that album is called Piss on the Wall, and I didn't know that piss was a bad word. And um, so I'm like bebopping down the hallway singing piss on the wall. And my mom heard me and she was like, what did you say? And I was like, what, what, what? And so I got in big trouble. Thank you, Jay Giles. <laughs> you got me in trouble as a child because you uh, named one of your songs piss on the wall. So, yeah. Anyway. All right. Um, yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to tag the, the finding of the chicken coop ruin um, on the end of this, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll probably have some later. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye. Hey, everybody. Here we are at the homestead, and I've been cleaning up a bit out here, as you can see. There's this thing out here called ironweed, which is like these big things right here this is ironweed and the stalks on it if you look they're pretty meaty right they can't be weed eated so they tear through weed eater string so i've been chopping them down with like little manual like scissor like lawn scissors is what i call them and i got this far but i realized that this is the ruins of my grandfather's old chicken coop from way back in the day so this is when I learned all the chicken things that I've forgotten. But I thought that was pretty cool. I got it all cleared back to to this. I, I met this thorn bush right here that is not my friend. I've got, my hands are, are sliced pretty bad. You can see I've got bloody marks. Thunder's rumbling. It's about to start raining like hell. So yeah. But yeah, I thought that was cool. thought I would share it with everyone getting the riffraff out of here. I'm going to obviously take these and do something with them. Break, bust them up or something. So, uh, yeah. Taking care of the bramble. And then I only have that far to go. <laughs> I only have that far to go. Yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. We'll get it. Alright guys. See ya.